Well, I think I, I didn't know it was gonna, to be honest, I told my trainer a couple of weeks before the, when COVID started hitting in Europe, and I was like, God, do you think it'll get called off? So I kind of had an indication it might end up getting called off, and I did, to be honest, two weeks before the fight, so. I just, I just kept myself busy training, running or some, doing something, just keep my weight down and uh, keep myself active. I mean, just running circuits or whatever. Even doing pad work in the, in the park. So I just done something to keep myself moving instead of getting frustrated and putting the weight on. I could, you just, uh, you just gotta, you just gotta live with it. You know, you can't, you can't really dwell on it. So, you know, I was expected to box maybe three times this year, or maybe I three times. But the way it's looking, I might even box once, maybe twice, depending how things are going. So, you know, uh, it's just one of them things. You know, you can't really, no one really predicted it coming, it being this bad. So, you know, I'm just grateful on boxing as well. I needed a wee break from the mind, so it's, it's done me a world of good. That's, you know, I've came back strong, uh, fitter and stronger and uh, more hungrier, so yeah, it has, it has worked out better for me. Yeah, we took a, we took a step back from always, obviously when you go, you've got fight back to back, you're always train hard, but obviously took a step back this time and just started working on things, you know, I mean, slowing things down a wee bit and worked on technique, punches and so, yeah, it's, in a way it has worked out good for us, you know, so, because see, whenever you got fight day, you're always thinking about just getting, working hard, working hard, running, from the gym sparring, hard work, you know, so you forget about techniques and so that's what we've done for those last few months, you know, so just take our time and work on things because we never had a fight day. I'm just waiting, I'm just waiting for this COVID to disappear and I can get back to the gym. That's all I want to do, just get better, get, get work, uh, work on my technique, get better and better in boxing. That's all I wanted to do, to be honest. It's been all right, to be honest. I've, no, I wouldn't really say I've had a problem because a few boys have boxed and shows down south on TV, so I've, I've helped them and I've we've been sparring that and we've been going down south, uh, down England uh, sp uh, sparring Thomas Patrick Ward, so no, I can't really complain, you know, it's obviously sparring and it's always brought me in a lot last few, last year or so, so I can't, you know, I can't thank them enough. This is the next stage of my career now that it's going to take me to the next level, you know, I mean, I can't thank Eddie enough and obviously Sky Matchroom as well for taking me on. And uh, I've signed, I signed my contract December now. I'm obviously been there for what, 10 months, I think 10 months coming up, nine months. And I'll make my debut, so I'm looking forward to it. You know, it's, uh, it's another chapter in my career now. I think it depends, Styles makes fights, you know, I mean, uh, I'm completely different stuff from um, Kareem Ghaffari. You know, he's probably the same height as McGregor. I'm, I'm, I'm much smaller, so it's dependent on the night, you know, I mean, King Gafari has been around for a long, long time. He's got a lot of experience on his bag, and McGregor obviously has no, has no had the experience he's had, but it's on the night, you know, I mean, it matters who performs, you know, and uh, be a good fight, to be honest. I can't really pick a winner. At the moment, I'm not thinking about that. You know, that's it's, it's coming up near for a year since the fights happened. That's, to me, that's in the past. It's quite exciting because as I have a good few uh, Scottish fights at the moment, you know, I mean, they're both TV contracts and doing really, really well, and, you know, in the next year or so, I think. You can, always get, you can all box and up, you can have top of hydro, you know, many of them, the way they're heading. So, yeah, it's looking really healthy. It's going. You know, I'm, uh, I'm good friends with Hannah Rank and, um, you know, I'll be cheering her on the night. You know, I think uh, she's really hard working and, uh, you know, she's came up the hard way, obviously, just like me. You know, she never had no amateur background, so I'll be cheering her on the night. I know it's a tough night's nice work for her, but she's more capable of doing it, you know. After this fight, I don't know when I'll be out next, you know, so. For me, I'm, I'm very fortunate I'm out. You know I mean? I gotta thank Eddie again, you know what I mean? And uh, for, for getting me a date. Because people who have to go, you know I mean? Have to go under big uh, platforms, they're not gonna be able to box, you know? So, so I'm very fortunate I'm able to get out this time myself. Because it is, you know I mean? Difficult times for boxers to win. Small, especially small home fires, you know I mean? They won't be able to get fights. Maybe, in, maybe for, maybe April, May, maybe June next year, so. You know, people who have been boxed since last year, they'll be a year and a half out of their career, and it's not, it's not really healthy for them. You know, healthy, I mean, it's not great moving forward in their boxing career, so. I think they can expect a fan-friendly style and, uh, you know, a lot of head movement and uh, something something different, you know, so something a wee bit different, you know, so instead of the ordinary, so, yeah, something a wee bit different. <laughs>